hello welcome to special data hub once again in this video i'm going to show you how to find the shortest and fastest routes between multiple points and between point layers using qgis application so we'll be using the ors tools to do this go to plugins manage and install plugins make sure you have your internet connection set up as it requires it for this um, for installation of plugins so when you go click on all not installed click on all as you can see on my search tab already i have searched ors so just search ors you can search it ors tools completely but this one gives you provides it on the list here check the box and click on install yeah mine is already installed that's why it's showing reinstall so when you're done with this, close it. Then go to your web. Go to web. You will see ORS tools under it. On the drop down, click on ORS tools. The first thing we'll need to do is to sign up to create an account. If you already have an account, you can skip this section of the video and but it won't take it won't take a while. On this page here, you can enter a name. on your username simply enter any email of choice and then you can enter your first name and last name And then all these other options are optional. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you accept the terms and conditions. All right, so on my page here, you now see that I, I have created my account and I have a dashboard which I have logged into. I post the video to set up the account because after clicking on submit, you need to verify your account from your email and there is no stress in that. Just go to your email, click on the link and your account is verified. Then you can log in. If it doesn't bring you direct to this page, go back to your TJS on the URS tools, click on dashboards and it brings you here directly. So the next thing we will do is to request a token. The only option here is standard. You can set our token name to any name of choice, but let's call it special data. Do also subscribe to this channel if you haven't and watch the videos which are of interest to you. So here we can now create a token. On this token here, we just click on it and it copies the token to your clipboard so now let's go back to our ors tools on qjs go to settings open routing service click on click on the drop down paste your api key ctrl v paste your api key and say save now we want to create a route which is the shortest or the fastest route let's first do the fastest route let's imagine we are driving a car so we'll click on this add waypoints there are other options to use but first let's start with add waypoints click on add waypoints we want to go from this point to this point and then check on this point let's just start here's our point one point zero let me select this point instead point one point two and point four point three so when we are done with that we go back to web ors tools now the points list has been updated here with the list of coordinates as well 
next thing we'll do is to set okay are you driving a car are you on a wheelchair are you cycling are you walking let's imagine we're driving a car then you have the option to set if it's fastest or shortest or just let the ai recommend its service to you let's select the fastest let's select the shortest then when we are done with this just click on apply and take a short while then close it now you see how it goes from here we are driving a car so it's it takes into cognizance all the points of interchange and then takes the route through these points until it gets to our final destination if your point is not so visible like this double click on the layer if your point is not so visible double click on the layer click on symbology and then select any of these more visible symbols right on the very thin line or you can just simply increase the point width the width of the point here so that'll be it for that then for the next thing we would like to do is to adjust some of those settings which we saw there let's turn off this layer it's also important to know that you can always make this layer permanent by right clicking and click on make permanent you can also save it to a permanent file when creating the when running this service so now let's try something different on your advanced configuration settings you can set it that you want it to set be set up as a traveling salesman so you can go to and fro which is round trip you can get a fixed start point say it starts from one particular location and goes to the next location a traveling salesman can go from different points depending on how fast which point is faster on the route yeah then you can also see that it can avoid things like highways steps and um tollways so let's say you want to you're creating a route for a cycling event you won't want to run on highways yeah you want to run on um quiet streets those kind of locations yeah so that's that setting that configuration comes in handy let's take this to the top if you are running maybe flighting flight routes between airports and between countries you can always set it to avoid particular countries now here's the one i would like us to check if you are trying to avoid particular locations then you can set it to avoid polygons this is how it works let us right click and um, click rather just check the box and select the polygon layer which we want as you can see on my screen here i've already created a polygon yeah so the where this comes in handy is that if you have um traffic location on a route you have traffic on a route sorry i was not supposed to close that let's say we have traffic heavy traffic or road closure on this route the easiest way to let the ors tools know is that with by putting the polygon here and telling it to avoid this polygon yeah so let's go back to our web ors tools yeah we still have our points here now let's tell it to we've told it to avoid the polygon now let's create this route do we now see how it works so originally let's let me show it well originally you see how the route went and turn off this layer originally it went through this way this is the easiest way to find all the waypoints but when we now told it oh there's a road closure here we won't be able to go through this route it doesn't say okay don't worry i'll take you through the next interchange and then it goes to this point and finds its way all the way down to this point if we had created this point as one of our points of interest it will just simply come down this way find its way here 
and all the way to the rest of the points. I hope that's made clear. Now we can um, set up something else using the layers which we have here. Let's say we don't want this point, so we can turn off these points. So yeah, after entering points here, you can save this save the points to a layer list here. Yeah, you can save the points and then save it as a G package or a shape file if you want to take note of those points. Then if you click on batch jobs, let's reduce this, it looks a bit awkward. So if you click on batch jobs, we'll be able to um select create directions from point line pull, uh, pulley lines and then points layers. From pulley lines, it's basically simple. You just select your traveling modes. Are you driving a car like before? Or are you then you select the line feature, which is probably going to be pulley line, layer line. And then you select the ID field. Select if you want it to be fastest or shortest. And then you can choose to save the layer or leave it as a temporary layer and run this. When it's done, we can close this. Now on this layer, what I would like to show you is these points. Let us right click and zoom to these points. So you can see that we have these points features here. Let's close this guy. We have these four points. We want to create a, um, a route between these points. So unlike the last one where we already had, where we just clicked on these points on the map, let's say we have them out already. Another thing we can do is, okay, let's do it. Let's not just use word of mouth. Open the attribute table. Let's say you have a list of so many points, but you want to create a route between just selected points. Let's create a route between these three points. Hold on, control, click and click you can check in um, the description of this video it will have link on attribute table and how to manipulate your which the qgis attribute tables now we've clicked on points here let's now go to web various tools various tools points layer yeah you can select if you have two points layers from one dest one as destination and one as um point of interest yeah but this time we have just one point layer so select we are still driving a car now the, what i want to show you is this selected features only so you can set it as selected features only so it doesn't create a route for all the points in the layer but just for the points which you have selected for the specific points which you have selected then you can select your id fields to be name Sorry, I could have named it better rather than just 0.123. Yeah. Then you can sort the points according to the name or according to anything which you want. All of these other options are just, you can play around with them. You can save the file here to a permanent file or to a temporary file, depending on what you want. You can also avoid countries you can avoid um borders you can avoid features you can avoid you can set any of these options here so when we are done when we are done setting up here just click on run and just like the last one it runs it through the routes exactly so we see it doesn't select these points which we left out of it, point four. It just selects these three points. And that's about it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to use, how to create a travel route, travel time analysis, and how to perform um, isochromes, isochromes to find your reachability. So let's say you are working on, you are creating a, um, a map to know 
how much delivery how much location you can deliver a product to in 10 minutes in five minutes using the isochrome apps you can find out through your ors tools so stick around subscribe share and i'll see you in the next video